Hey guys, you're gonna like this video. We've come across a new material that's gonna turn this camper into extreme efficiency. We've even got a big, huge 46 gallon water tank and other things we're gonna be doing to this. So let me show you a little bit of uh, what we're working with. Kara, you about ready to turn this thing into the Elk Lodge? Yep. So are you gonna be able to do the work? I can take it. So what do you think? I think it's a good idea. All right, we're going to be taking Miss Welder lady here, <laughs> and you can't wear that welding, and we're going to be taking this thing here and extending it. One of the things we've got is the luxury of the size of this, where the wheels of the trailer are going to go. Yes, it's going to be mounted on the trailer, but it's different. It's different than what we've done before, and it's going to be real nice. All right, so y'all look up here and you see this. It's going to go on a gooseneck frame. It's going to be ultralight. It's going to have real nice travel ca uh, characteristics. And we're going to take this gal right here and she's gonna do a lot of the building. All right, guys, come on, let's get over to the shop. I've got some stuff set up and I'll give her a few minutes to get changed into her work clothes and we will show you what we're doing. All right, come on. All right, guys, so like I just showed you, we're on that camper. The main thing that we're dealing with, sorry about that. The main thing we're dealing with is, Kara, Kara, shut that off right now. Okay. The main thing we're dealing with is this stuff right here. Now the camper is going to be a cool build, but it's this stuff right here that's the main thing we're dealing with. And I'm going to get to this, and I want you to look under the video, everything here, all the stuff that you're going to need. I'm going to put links to it down here. Now what she's doing right now is she is making a. Uh, T-beam basically out of double angles. That's double angle iron right there. Yeah, do you like my weld? So, do I like your weld? Let's see. Is that hot? No. Okay. That looks pretty good, hon. Make okay. sure you make sure you chip those out. So, so she's got she's cutting her material, and she's this is where the end of the camper is going to hit, and and we are so lucky because the camper is exactly 64 inches, and so is the main part of the frame. So it's gonna, the camper's, uh, I say, uh, tail width is 64 inches. Um, the rest of it's much bigger, but it's 64 inches and then actually is going over the top of this nicely, very nicely. So she's working on all this. This is a 1961 Pilot, was a fifth wheel frame, gooseneck, I guess you call it. So we're taking the camper and putting it on here, coming down and then having a porch on the back. So I want you to look at this picture. I'm gonna put this picture in there right now. All right, that is what it's going to kind of look like. At least we're going to shoot for that. 3,500 pound axles, um, nice big screened in porch on the back with window panels. You can actually close it in and sleep back there if you want to during the winter time, correct? Yep. So our goal is to build this thing as a requested project from somebody that we have met before. Now, um, I've set up some testing stuff. And what we're talking about here is this is amazing, amazing stuff. It will literally drop the temperature, um, prevent the sun from coming in. You put this on the roof of your camper. You put this on the walls, reopen your cabinet doors, paint the back of your cabinet doors, and it's gonna keep heat transfer, cold or hot, transfer down to a minimum. And it literally, like it says over here, R11 ratio. And the point that I'm getting at right here is that you need to use two things. This right here, this right here is uh, the uh, Zen, Zen Zer, uh, I'm sorry, uh, bullseye primer, and it's the best stuff to use because it is for all surfaces. That's everything, man. That is steel, that is um, aluminum, that, oh uh, God, fiberglass, you name it. Prime it with that before, and then you have to put this, then you put this on it. This is kind of a latex-based stuff. Now, let me get over here, and I'm going to show you what I'm working with right here. Up here, I put the primer on the inside. So up inside of this thing is a layer of primer. Both of these sides have primer on them. So we're gonna take this thing here. Here, let me change hands right quick. We're gonna take this thing here and I'm gonna show you. This is our starting temperature with those bulbs. So let me get over here, 105, let me get back on, 105 degrees. And then over here, 87 degrees. So, so what is that? That is, um, uh, quick John, do the math. That's uh, 18 degrees difference. And that's kind of what they uh, want you to expect. So look up here 
and you're going to see a pair of 75 watt bulbs two of them now i purposely got incandescent bulbs so that you would see that they are not leds and they're definitely very warm actually not hardly warm at all a actually hot all right so that's the purpose of this stuff it's thin i mean literally the coating that's in here is thin now i kind of I just used a brush. I didn't have anything great. So you can see my brush strokes. I should have used like a something better. But nothing on that side. And over here, that stuff there. And it is just about a millimeter thick. And that's it. My, my history of seeing anything that says that it does this kind of stuff is to be BS. You know? I don't want to use the nasty words. But no way. You know, diamond... Uh, diamond coated ceramic this ceramic that blue this blue that red copper this i've seen it all man and only especially tv stuff they're all bunk none of them is actually from the japanese aerospace agency this is and this is just now hitting the public um the where you can buy it in the united states and other countries because they've just got past that like patent restrictions all right one of the things we're going to do here is i'm going to show you this one this is a pair of just steel cups, just regular metal cups, okay? Now, this metal cup right here is just coated with the bullseye. This one here has the bullseye on it also, but it also has a coating of this. Now, this gallon has not been opened because we used up what we had left doing the test in here after we painted a roof on something. And this is the stuff that's coated. Like I said, didn't use a great brush, didn't do a great job of that and you can do better than me i'm sure i'm no freaking painter so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to have kira marie she's going to go over and she's going to get the coffee sitting over there and that coffee is going to be used to show you a dynamic difference kira hurry up honey show you a dynamic difference no oh, quit she now hold on we're going to get a temperature reading just a minute put it down put it over here all right so let's get a temperature reading and it's 142 degrees all right now she's going to pour the coffee in here just give put both of them about the same amount on just up to the same amount yeah. equal yep all right so now there you go equal coffees now we're going to go over here 141 degrees we're going to go over here 118 degrees that's metal can guys look at this here hold on let me get up here in the top get to the edge of the rim of the metal all the way down to the bottom not the table <laughs> look at this look at this so you tell me what you think does it work Man, I'm going to say, yeah, it works. At least, it sure as hell appears to work. Now, here's one thing here. This is cardboard. It came with Kira's new welding helmet. She got her new helmet, that one over there. Yep. And her old helmet took the... <laughs> it kicked the bucket. It kicked the bucket. And so, we've coated a piece of cardboard with it. And we have a piece of cardboard that's not coated with it. So I'm going to show you a little thing that they'll tell you. I want you to look over here. Here, I'm going to hold this real still. Pause on that, and you can get some data. You see it applies like latex paint. 1,600 degrees, 10 minutes, non-burning. All right. Now, I want you to see, you can kind of see the cardboard even bleeding through in some spots on here. I coated this, and this is not coated. So let me get this over here. That's just the pieces of her box for her... Uh, um, Kara, get the torch for me. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over here and sit my butt down on the end of this trailer. Okay. okay. Using my lap to get an equal distance, I am going to hit this with a torch. You can count the seconds here. All right, so 10 seconds, a little curl of smoke. 3,000, I think. I think it's 3,000 degrees on this thing. All right. Same thing here. Huh. Let 
Look at that cardboard starting. <laughs> that stinks. All right, so to give you an idea, is that something you would use on your home, on your outer walls? If you guys live in California and you damn well know that the houses built in California are basically built out of cardboard. I mean, it's usually masonite. Hmm. See, look at that. Put my hand right on it. Wow. Look at that. My hand right on it. I don't dare do that. So what I'm getting at is this is impressive stuff. And you put this on the top of here. Let's get over here. You put it on top of a cargo trailer, an RV, semi trucks on your house, anywhere in your house, on your walls, your outer walls, your inner walls. And it, it's, a, it's a, an amazing thermal break. Flat or pitched roofs. You got a mobile home. Holy hell, it's hot, right? Put this on the roof. It's going to reject the heat the sun's trying to put in inside or outside walls of your house same purpose so what it does is it lowers the temperatures prevents heat and cool losses so it even prevents your heat from inside your house exiting during the winter time and heat from the summertime coming into your house really good at maintaining your temperatures um, I'm gonna try to get as many videos that are not either licensed or restricted and I'll upload them I'll edit them to just for the length just for length to upload them on my channel and if they're uh, languages nobody can understand, I'll try to just put something on there for you. This is cool stuff. Just like I said, look below this video. I'll put the link to it. It's not easy to find. But he, they've got it now, and I want you to go check it out. You'll want this to use on all surfaces. This can be tinted, no need to. That can be tinted. I try to stay a lighter color because it helps, but y'all think about that. And y'all come back and be watching this. We're going to be building this whole thing, and Kira is going to be finishing her welding here. Daniel finally showed back up after getting him a, a sandwich. And you stay gone, didn't you? <laughs> so um, it looks like a mess right now, but y'all stay tuned. We're going to put that together, right? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It sure is. All right, guys. Nice build. All kinds of new neat stuff on an old 61 frame. 3,500 axles. We're going to make it cool.